A psychopath is on the loose. You have to shut down. Oh, I'll be doing no such thing. You're making a terrible mistake. American Horror Story, season nine, episode two. We got a trailer and we're gonna break this trailer down to see if there's any clues about what's gonna happen in episode two. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Follow me on my social media links. And if you're new to my channel, the best way to navigate everything we cover, we've got a huge baby of pet playlists. Just go through them and see if there's something in there that you like. So as we go through the trailer, let's watch the trailer again, then we'll pick it apart for clues. If you imagine the worst, that's all you see. It's Mr. Jacobs. I tried calling 911, but the lines are down. So in the first scene, you see either, I think she's a doctor or a psychologist who arrived at that jail cell when Mr. Jingles got free. She's there just telling Margaret, there's a killer on the loose, we need to shut down. And Margaret's like, hell to the gnaw. The kids come here tomorrow, I need to make this money, and I don't care what you say, you're not shutting me down. And I think that that's just a prelude to the turmoil that's going to be going between this person who's either a doctor or a psychologist and the members of the camp. In the next scene, you see all of our group of kids, camp counselors rather, standing in a room and they're looking at someone. I think they want us to think it's Mr. Jingles. But ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget that Richard, the guy that called himself the devil, he's loose too. He's out there trying to get one of our main characters and it could be him that they're looking at with a knife or it could be Mr. Jingles or they hear something that's very, very scary and concerning. Next frame we see Montana and man, does she have a look of fear on her face? And what do we learn about her? Man, she's ready to give up them panty draws. Y'all saw her getting down with that guy that was there already. She wanted to do something with him. But this just leads me to believe that as much as we think that the adversaries are gonna be Richard and Mr. Jingles, I think that someone within the group might turn on the group. And if I had to pick someone that I think would turn, it might be Montana because she seems like she can be easily persuaded. The next frame, we see the lights and the phones flickering and we hear that the phone is going out. And that sounds more and more like that is something that Richard is doing, not necessarily Mr. Jingles, but I could be wrong. It could be him or it could be both of them. Next scene, we see Mr. Jiggles pulling out his knife, which to me means that he could have possibly slashed off somebody's ear or he's possibly about to kill someone, either or. Possibly somebody is gonna die in episode two of American Horror Story 1984. They've got Mr. Jiggles pulling out that knife and I think somebody is gonna get it. The last scene, we see Xavier walking across a bridge with his flashlight and then he's immediately grabbed and pulled away and screams. I think they want us to think that somebody got him, but if you take a look at that hand, that hand looks to be that of an African-American, and I think that's just Ray maybe saving Xavier from something or helping Xavier get out of the way of something coming. And I think that's just a scare tactic they put in the trailer for us to think something is gonna happen to Xavier. He's already one of the most popular characters on this season. I don't see them getting rid of him this fast. And that to me was nothing more than Ray saving his homeboy from what could have been tragic doom. But leave me your comments about what you think about the trailer, what things you think are gonna happen in episode two, and have you been satisfied with episode one so far in American Horror Story 1984. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life gain. If you enjoy my videos and you made it this far, you're obviously a big supporter of my channel. I would ask that you go and join and donate to my Patreon. If you got video requests, you put them up there. I tend to get to those first to give support to my Patreon members. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.